Yeah, I... I mean, right now I just have that basic idea of, like, exploring... ...social norms and morality in games, and the first one I had was that one in Mass Effect about polyamory, right? Kind of approach it from a non-heteronormative angle, right? Where I'm not gonna say, like, oh, these games should cater my taste, but kind of point out, like, the weird... I wouldn't say hypocrisy, but I'll say, for example, so in the first Mass Effect game, there's only, when you play as male Shepard, you only have two romantic choices, um, Liara and uh, Ashley. So you could try to pursue both of them, but if you do, there'll eventually come a scene where the both of them confront you and be like, what the hell are you doing, you fucking two-timer? And then you have to, you have the choice of saying like, hey, I make choices on the battlefield, not the, ba uh, not the bedroom. And they're all like, well, whatever, and they both leave, right? So they kind of... The game kind of sort of shames you <laughs> for wanting to pursue uh, a romance with both of them. Yeah, I mean, I think you can choose one of them, but, like, if you try to pursue... If you try, if you keep... If you stay in your ground about going against both... Do you think that'd be appealing to gamers? Genuine question, BTW. I think a lot, I think, I, I looked it up a little bit. A lot of people do want that. And here's the thing. I don't think it needs to, um, I mean, like, I'll discuss this in the podcast. Like, I don't necessarily think it needs to cater to people. But I think it should at least suggest the idea that when you're in a in universe where aliens are fucking other aliens... Would it not be the weirdest thing ever if one of them was like, I want to have sex with more than one alien? I'm not saying that that's, that should be the norm, or that should be, like, accepted, or even, like, really widespread or accepted or whatever. I just think that that idea should not be treated as a completely out there thing. Again, I know most people are usually... What's up? Um, mono... Mono... Emory, monominous, or whatever. And usually when people think of, like, polyamory or polygamy, usually they think of, like, Mormons and shit like that. But I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, marriages. I'm talking about, like, relationships. But, like, at the same time, you have the norm of, like, the fuckboy that'll just try to fuck as many women as possible, and then just, like, you know, just these casual things. And, you know, it's not exactly monogamous. Yeah, 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 that's the word. Um... But polyamory is different from polygamy, because polygamy ref um, refers to, like, weddings, like marriages and shit, where polyamory is just relationships. Also, at the same time, um, I think a lot of people kind of smash... Pause. Uh, I, I, think they, I think they group sex and romance a little too much. Like, usually, yeah, in the most point, you usually have both. But I don't think they should be, um, no, what's the opposite of mutually exclusive? Like, I, I don't think it necessarily has to be the same thing. Like, you could, because like I said, like, my bestie, right, they're in a relationship with someone that's asexual, right? They're romantically involved with an asexual person. And their agreement, as far as I know, um, yeah, but you're not part of the heteronormative, heteronorm. That's the thing, is, like, I also kind of look at this, like, outside of the heteronormality. And it's like, I get it that most gamers don't really care for that, but I just, I also just... Again, this is not, like, a like a criticism. I'm not trying to shame the companies for doing it this way. This is me pointing out that, like, hey, this thing that they say isn't quite that crazy. You know what I mean? This, this thing that you want... <laughs> this thing that you might want in a game... Might not be the might not be the weird as weird as you think it is, you know what I mean? So that's that's the approach I'm gonna, you know, because I'm never gonna approach it as, oh, these games need to cater to me. It's like no, that's that's just as bad as the people that say like, or almost as bad as the people that say like, no, no gay sex ever. No, 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 I don't want I don't want to be part of anything gay. I only want to fuck bitches. Because, like, literally, when, when that, start, that when like, same-sex marriage, like, same-sex relationships started to pop up in, um, in your RPGs, 
I actually read a thread once where, like, one guy was like, they should have an option that just says no gay sex or something like that. Like, just have a hetero, just have a, a heterosexual mode where you can only fuck the bitches. And it's like, you already have that option in the game. It's called not choosing the gay relationships. It's called, like, it's called, it's called avoiding the same sex relationships. You can, you can go after the bitches and only the bitches. The game lets you do that. But to say, oh, I need an option that completely closes off anything outside of that is like, that's kind of dumb. And so to say the same, the opposite would, f I feel like is just as ignorant, where it's like, you need to. But again, this is just more like the, uh, the idea of like, um, hey, like, you know, wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the worst thing to have that as an option. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying.